Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the support. Before we hop into today's video, I have two Bass Pro gift cards right here. Gonna be giving them away. If you guys wanna enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to your boy's channel. Hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. Hit the like button on today's video and also drop some comments down below on some content that you guys wanna see in the upcoming videos. So you guys know we haven't really fished over the last few weeks, so we're trying to catch up on content. We have a bunch of cool catches that one, haven't even made it in videos, and two, that are from the end of last year, beginning of this year. Some big catches, some crazy catches that we're gonna be going over today. It's gonna be a different style. We're gonna talk a little bit about each clip and go into them. We've had a phenomenal year so far, and uh, I'm just excited to get back and filming a lot of content. But let's go ahead and hop into today's video. We have some cool catches. Let's get it started. So for this first clip, we're at my boy Fletcher's place. We're trying to hunt for this big bass. We started off with a red eye shad. I was making a ton of cast, didn't really have any bites. So we switched up to the Thunder Cricket, and a few minutes in, we caught this bad boy. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is a giant. Oh my God over at least five pounds this is a giant oh yeah oh yeah she might be six i can barely see her because the pond's in the water but this is a big fish on the thunder cricket this is strong fish too oh my god oh my gosh oh that's six pounder that might be yeah has to be it's either five or six come on baby Oh my god, it's a freaking toe. Don't spit it, please. Don't spit it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cody, come on now. Last video we filmed, we start off with a dang like eight pounder and then we start this one off with a. That's a big fish. Right. Cody came in clutch today for you guys. Hold on, guys. Let me find the scale. That's over five pounds, bro. Has to be. That's exactly why you throw that thunder cricket, that chatter donk, is because the freaking big ones bite it. Something about a chatter donk gets those big ones. We were patient. I didn't have a bite this whole time. We've been fishing for what, maybe 45 minutes? Yeah. All of a sudden, thump. First fish is like a five pounder. Zero it out. Let's get an official weight on this baby. First fish today, I can't believe that. Mm-hmm. Six point mm -mm. no five five five, five. okay five pounds five. five ounces that's a big one though dude come on now almost a five and a half pounder to start off the video that's exactly what you want that thunder cricket right there you don't get many bites but let me tell you when you get bites it gets you a toad like that and this fish is long but it's just so thick at the same time and that what a way to start the video give me some brother give me some what a way Right there, let's get her back in the water. We're keeping track today. We have one fish. We're gonna see what our best five weigh, but that's a five and a half pound, almost a five and a half pounder. Thick belly, just overall beautiful bass. Let's get her back in. We've been catching some toads recently. I knew right when I hooked this baby right here, it was a big one. There she goes. Wow, 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 wow. We have been starting off the videos recently with some big ones. That's just a good feeling. Right here, Cody. We gotta make it happen again. First fish, 5.5. Let's go for one that's over six. That was a crazy fish catch. Let me tell you, the Thunder Cricket, something about it just catches some big fish. By the way, if you guys wanna check out any of the lures that I use or rods and reels, get a discount. I have the links down below, discount codes right next to them. Go check them out, I really appreciate it. But I know that fish catch was crazy, but let me tell you, five minutes later, we hooked into one even bigger. Oh my God, it's another toad, it's another toad, it's another toad, it's another toad. Giant, oh my God, that's a freaking six pound, six plus, six plus. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, baby, you a big, dude, that's bigger than six. Please stay, dude, he's barely hooked. Oh, this is not good. All right, we just barely hooked, guys, but we need this fish. We're gonna have a massive bag today. Oh my God, it's so big. <laughs> what in the world? 
There's no way. I can't believe it. Cody's smiling behind the camera. I know I got him excited. I got you excited, don't I? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, how many casts after that? Maybe five? Yeah, maybe. We're on him now. Look at that. That's a six pounder. Look how big his head is though. Oh my God, what a toad. You guys better be thanking Cody. Hashtag, thank you Cody in the comment section down below for bringing this scale because we're gonna actually tally up our bag today. We've had two bites that are over five. Are you kidding me? That thunder cricket getting the job done. Let's go ahead and get a weight on this girl, man. I'm ready to catch some more. That's insane. Terrify me. Her head is like a seven pounder, but she gets a little skinny down at the bottom. But that was just a mean looking fish. Zero it out. <laughs> we got over 10 pounds of two fish. <laughs> Let's go. Please be six. Oh, come on, baby. She's not going to do it. Five pounds, 11 ounces. Five and three quarters right there. Just about. Look at that. We're going to tally it up. I need to put these in my phone. Five pounds, 11 ounces. We just caught a five, five. Let's go. I, I, what did I say? I said, now let's try to catch one over six. And of course she's just a little shy, but that is a toad right there. That's exactly why we go fishing every day. It's exactly why we get so excited when we get out on the water. Cause you never know when you're going to hook a giant like that. Let's get her back in. Man, that is amazing. Catch a five, five, and then the throw back in five casts later and catch a five eleven. That's a brute freaking brute. I just can't believe the first two fish are that big. Like we got 11 pounds. Exactly 11 pounds, actually. Exactly 11 pounds of two fish. So we have a 5.5, five, then we have a 5.11, 16 ounces and a pound. That puts us exactly at 11 pounds with two fish. This next fish catch isn't quite as big as the last two, but the way that the fish ate it was just amazing. It's crazy. And let me tell you guys, you know, it's so cool to see how these fish stack up. You know, we had a day where we weren't having any bites. We switched up to a different bait, started throwing it around. Boom, boom, boom. We caught three back to back. And now watch this next fish catch. All right, we are getting eaten alive by gnats. Cody's gonna put some bug spray on. I'm just gonna fan cast right here. Watch us catch another one. Oh my God, dude, there's no way. Dude, I got another one. No, another. I can't believe this. What is going on? All right, he's not a five pounder, but it's a, it's a solid two. There we go, third fish, next cast, guys. This thunder cricket, look at it, right in the top of his mouth. Getting the job done. That is a solid two pounder. We're just gonna call him two, we're not gonna weigh him. There we go, look at that thunder cricket right there. Right there in the top of his mouth. Two pounder. What do you say, Cody, two pounder? Yeah. We're gonna leave him at two, so we have 13 pounds of three fish. Pretty. He, he was eating it like a big one, dude. It scared me. Next cast, literally. These fish are, this is the thing. We fished for a while. We saw a lot of bait fish just didn't have any bites. All of a sudden we move spots. Boom, 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 boom. We're getting bites every cast. Sight fishing has to be one of my favorite ways to catch fish. Catching fish on bed just in general is so much fun every time spring comes around. Let me tell you, we went out on Lake Mare. We caught a good bit of fish, had a great day. There was a bunch of kayaks, there was a bunch of boats. They were all going around the lake. We were having to fish behind people this day, but we were still able to catch these fish. These are some awesome clips. Let's roll it. Now, there's even beds, I don't know if you see. Yeah, off here in like seven, eight. Oh. Dude, he just opened his mouth, put it in his mouth, and I pulled it right out. Yeah, he's right there on bed. Watch, he's gonna eat it right here. Yep. There we go. Right on bed. Let's go. Get in there. Oh, calm down, Jimmy. Oh, calm down, Jimmy. Oh my gosh. There we go, guys. First fish today. Does that feel good right there? To catch them off bed, it has been a little struggle. There's a bunch of boats out here. The one thing about Lake Mare is finding the right spots to catch the fish. Not only that, but these boats have already hit everything. So we're going behind the people trying to catch them. We're going to play very finesse. I happened to see a few fish on bed. Saw like a four pounder roaming around this patch. Went down the bank, saw like a four or five pounder on bed and saw another one that was about this size. And uh, we're coming down. 
just reeled it right past his bed had him thump it threw back in there fish ate it nothing big but pretty fish catch them on bed that's just it's a lot of fun right there get this pretty girl back in the water that's a start right there what you think brother oh yeah that's, i mean look at how many times i had to cast her that one you know oh that's a good one here we go please do not come off please he's not even that big dude but i got him in the boat here we go fish number three probably should be fish number six or seven but we've lost a good couple today still nothing big i thought he was a good fish but still a beautiful bass it's just fun to catch him and uh, these bites are very hard man you don't get them too often we're seeing some fish on the bank this is the first fish today that I actually casted and had a bite and caught. I had a few bites today, but this one has to be the first. Look at that black spots on his fin too. Right there. Interesting. He's got some black on his lips too. Cool colors on this bass. We're on the road to catch more. We just need a big girl. There she goes. The cool thing about fishing is you never know what's gonna happen. When we were out here on Lake Mare, I threw my chatterbait up on this bed the fish was interested in it, and I accidentally got it snagged on a stick. So instead of giving up, I actually picked up my other combo, which had a rage crawl on it, flipped in front of him, and this happened. Just got my other line. Best one stick. Mmm. That's the ones we want. Nice. I wouldn't say she's three pounds, but she's pushing high two. You gotta love that right there. That's what bass fishing's all about. Man, what a beautiful fish. She's got this crazy marking right here. It's really shiny. But what a pretty fish. We wanna get her back on the bed. Or that's actually the male. Female was a little bit bigger, but that's a high two pounder right there. We made it happen. Let's go, Cody. Let's go, Cody. Wait, I want to show you guys something too. My chatterbait is actually still on the branch. So you have the bed, then you have this tree branch that goes across. I got the chatterbait snagged, picked up that crawl, flipped up in there, caught that girl. We're going to release her. This is her bed. We want to get her right back in the water so she can swim back right on it. There she goes. This is the last clip from Lake Mare. We still caught this fish sight fishing, but let me tell you, Cody's drone shots are always on point. He happened to have the drone up in the air, and this is definitely one of the coolest fish catches we've gotten in a while. Let's roll it. He's so interested right now. Go. Nice, dude, I got him. Let's go. Right in the mouth too. Look at him eat it. Took me a second to catch this beautiful fish, but man, did she roll on that chatterbait or that thunder cricket. Oh man. Bed fishing with thunder crickets. You didn't think you'd see it, but we're watching it happen today. Look at that. There we go. Pretty fish, solid two number. We're gonna get her right back in the water or get him back in the water. Let him get back on that bed. Get this beauty back in. Let her get back on her bed. There he goes. Beautiful. There he goes, buddy. If you guys know me well, you know that frog fishing has to be one of my favorite ways to catch bass. But on this day, we decided to whip out the punching rig, one of my other favorite ways to catch bass. And there's a lot of thick vegetation in this pond that we were fishing. We were out there with my boy Chance, had this big 7-Eleven flipping stick and we just started smoking the bass. Let me tell you, these clips are pretty funny too because every time I would hook set, for some reason the rod would make some weird dinosaur noise, dinosaur calling. But let's go ahead and roll the clips. Oh my God, oh, hold up. Are they gonna do this now? That was insane, he hit me so hard I literally felt it on my toes. <laughs> my fish just, just hammered this.
There he is. Got a whole bucket of salad with him. <laughs> Let's go. Or that's how you want to catch him. I don't even know if I want that weight anymore. That's fun. That's so much fun. Oh man, I haven't caught him punching in a very long time. Not a big bass, but but hey, he's a pretty one. Let's get a little nice shot. Look at that one. That's my first fish today. Three fish total, right? Yeah. And that is awesome to catch one punching like that. Flipping the edge of this grass. He actually bit me the cast before and I got him that second time. Let's get him back in the water. Just have pretty markings on these fish in this clear water. She just splashed me all over my face. All right, let's get back in there. So if you guys are some avid viewers of Kicking Their Bass TV, you guys know crazy stuff happens all the time. In this clip, we were still punching. I happened to hook the fish, and then all of a sudden, I thought he came off. But in reality, there's just a bunch of grass on the fish, and he was still on my rod. Yeah. Roll it. There's a big boy. Oh, oh my God, he back backlash my reel. <laughs> Oh, you see him right there? Did he come off? Look, he has my bait. Or no, 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 wait, he's still on. Oh, God, he's a good, big one, dude. I thought he was off. Yeah, that's a four pounder. Get him, Chance. That's what we need right there, brother. Get him, boy. He's three pounds, not four. <laughs> they look big in that clear water. That's a good one, though. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's the ones that we're looking for today. The punching rig, that's a good fish. This is just a mean looking guy. Gosh, that is a good bass right there. Look at his nose, it's a little, a little messed up. Best fish today so far, still punching the edge of this grass. That one is actually a little further up in there. It's funny because I leaned back, hooks at him. Next thing you know, I thought he came off and I just had the grass and I, I saw him swimming down there and the bait was still in his mouth. So that's a pretty fish right there. Let me see if we can keep on catching some and uh, upgrading. Just like the Lake Mayor catch, you know, we get a few clips when we're shooting the drone up in the air. This was actually one of the biggest fish of the day. We ended up punching him, just an old fat boy. About a three and a half pounder on the punch rig. This was a cool shot. Let's roll it. Oh. That's a good one too. Dude, biggest that one is of the day. fat as can be, dog. Look at that fish. That's the fattest fish we caught out of here, dude. Yep. Look at that thing. He ate it right in front of the boat. That's insane, dude. Thank God he didn't come off. Look at that fat belly. He got them black markings all over him. Look at that one right there, guys. I don't know if that's the biggest one, but I can definitely say that's the fattest fish of the day. When you look on his tail, you can almost see these black markings on this bass. And it's crazy because we were so close to that patch right there, right in that corner. It had a lot of deep water on it. I, that fish is over three pounds right there. Fat belly, he's chunky. Get him back in the water. That is a, that's a football. That's the ones we've been looking for today. He ate that punching rig right in front of us. There she goes. So one thing when it comes to the punching, one thing I really look for is you know, you got this big matted vegetation, ton of grass. The grass that I try to look for is grass that has a lot of water underneath. This next clip, I actually didn't catch a fish, but it actually shows how deep it is under the grass. Dude, that stuff's so good. I don't think we've been able to punt. Ooh. Oh, he came You off. see that two ounce weight, so yeah. difficult, bro. I was praying that he wasn't gonna pump, come off. That was a good one. That was like a high two, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like a football. Get some shoulders on him. Uh, that was a thick, chunky one. Every once in a while when I'm on the boat, you know, I'm always tripping over things, falling over, and I'm gonna tell you guys, I almost busted my butt on this clip. It was very close, but uh, let's roll it. Oh, look how good that looked. Come out of the water. Ooh. I saw your line. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I can't even get him in. <laughs> He's on there. <laughs> Dude, I about went overboard. Ah. <laughs> that grass, man, made that fish pull 10 times better. <laughs> Wouldn't that, that have been some things if I just tipped over into the back of the water with this thing on? So just caught final fish of the day and man, did we have a time out here. It's so much fun, you know, getting those big punching rigs, punching through that grass, hammering down on a good fish. There's nothing better than that. And uh, all in out, these have been some good quality bass, some pretty fish. We didn't have any like really big ones today, sadly but we did catch some good ones. It could have been really bad if I fell in the water there, but let me tell you, I honestly wish I would have fell in. It would have made for some good content. If you guys check out some of the recent videos, I fell a few times here and there, not gonna lie. But we have one more punching clip for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I appreciate the love and the support. Let's roll it. There he is. Nice one. Nice one, dude. Mm. That's the size we want. Gosh, that's a good fish. All right, there we go. Look at that, right in the corner of his mouth, he was barely hooked. That's a good fish right there. That's a high two pounder. Super fat belly on that one. It just feels good to land some of these. I missed a ton today with that two ounce weight given leverage, but that's a high two pounder. Could be three if his body was even fatter than his stomach. That's a pretty one. Get him right back in the water. His colors are just so beautiful too. That's what I love about some of those bass. There he goes.